mom can't choose for you, your dad can't choose for you, your grandma, your grandpa, your teacher, your uncle, your government, only you. You have the power to choose, and you do choose, and you will choose, and even if you decide to think you're not going to choose, you're still choosing. Not choosing is choosing not to choose. So, you can say you don't believe in God, or you don't believe anything, that's a belief. You can say you're an atheist, and you don't believe in anything, but that's a belief. That's what you believe. You believe that God's not real. And at one time, I thought maybe I was an atheist because I didn't know. But I know. I know I know. And because I know I know, I tell you. And I speak to you the truth because I want you to know the truth too. And uh, it's so great to know the truth because the truth will set you free and you can live life freedom, walking in the power of God, and, uh, yeah, and you can be so happy, yeah, and, uh, liberated, and you won't have to, like, just the power of God to walk in freedom and not have to, you know, not be deceived, people that are deceived don't walk in freedom, they walk in bondage, and they, uh, live in fear, but, I don't live in fear. Sometimes I get afraid. Yeah, sometimes I worry. But more and more I'm growing into Christ. Grow up into Christ. And do what God wants me to do. And I'm happy. And it's the best thing anyone can do is to believe in Jesus. Because it's the truth. And give their life to God. Lay down your life. Lay down your sinful life. And if you do that and give your life to God, to be ruled by God, God will give you life because you're willing to lay down your life, to give up your sinful life, lay it down for God, and you'll be resurrected with Jesus. You'll be brought out of death because of your sin as I was. I was dead in my sin, but I'm alive through Jesus Christ, the Lord. Praise God. I can't stress this enough that, you know, the power of God through Jesus is available to you today. Today, today is the day of salvation. Even if you don't believe, just be honest with God and tell God and say, hey, God, you know what? I don't really know if you're real and I don't really believe you and I don't really believe G Jesus is the truth. Just tell God. God already knows anyways. Tell him, be honest, but ask him. Ask him to reveal the truth if you want to know. If you really want to know that Jesus is the truth, God wants you to know. And he will reveal to you the truth that Jesus is the truth. And you'll be so happy if you're born again. You'll be wanting to tell everybody about Jesus. And people won't believe you. Some people won't. Some people will. But it's worth a try. And you just do it in love. Share the truth with love. Even if people get angry at you or hate you or want to kill you even you do it out of love because you want them to be saved they don't know what they're doing jesus says forgive them for they don't know not what they do they don't know what they're doing these people are lost and they need help people need help even if, you know even people yelling at you and swearing at you and they need help they don't know they don't know they're all mixed up they don't know they're believing lies they think it's true they're false ideas but they don't know they're deceived and they need help so we need to help them through god by the power of the holy spirit god bless you in jesus name i love you amen